I'm really enjoying this. I don't know how you are. I'm, I'm enjoying really... it, but this guy looks creepy as hell. Yeah, what, I, what are I, those orifices? Hi guys, we are Knights. I'm Ray. I'm Julian. Julian, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited because we are about to embark on a journey. A new journey? A new journey. A new adventure? A new adventure. This is going to take a good amount of time of our lives. Okay. But I'm excited because this is something I've always wanted to do. Okay. You know, we are about to embark on a Babylon 5 journey. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you folks. We have been trying hard to make sure we go in an order that it's supposed to be. Yes. What I mean by that, <laughs> not not by broadcast order, because we were getting some stuff about that with Star Trek. Yes. All right. So we went online and we looked through a lot of different ways of watching this. And one of them made the most sense because people, it, like these websites were giving us the options. We didn't want options. We just want to be told. We want to be told what to do. So we found the website. It was actually a Babylon 5 fandom site. Yeah. And, and, and it, looked, uh, it looked very legit. And we're going by the order. So the first thing we're going to watch is called The Gather. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, apparently, which I mean, to me, there's, there's actually several Babylon 5 movies that should be seen in between episodes. Apparently. Apparently. Uh, we have our paper and our writing instruments, which yes. mine's over here. Because I, this is supposed to be, this is epic, supposedly. And I want to make sure that we understand who's what, what's what, where we are, where we are, what we are, is what, what race is this, and we need to keep track of races. What's our name? What's our name? Who's living in our walls? <laughs> I want to make sure we do this properly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for those of you who are Star Trek fans, we will also continue on Star Trek. We are doing this as a as a uh, a side. Thing that you and I really, especially me, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I'm bringing Julianne with me. This is something I really been dying to do for years. Uh, and now that I have the channel, I find that this is the best platform for me to pull this off. Right? Yes. I am not doing this for the subs, which I think I'm sure we get plenty of subs because we got a lot of comments. Yeah, on we it. did. <laughs> this is more of a of a project that I want to do because a passion I really, project. I, 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 it's a passion project. Yeah, it's a passion project. So I'm looking forward to. I don't know any of the actors. I don't know if anybody here is famous. I do know that the show, I believe, was written by one person. Okay. You know, I think the writer was just him. And that's it. Oh, okay. And he created this whole beast. And I've seen so many people talk on YouTube about this show. I've heard podcasts. I've heard... Cause I, when you're into sci-fi, it's, it's it's very few people, when you talk about start, uh, space opera, they don't bring this up. Like, wow, you need to... Babylon right. 5, it's like... The creme de la creme when it comes to that, you know? Yeah. So that's thanks for smiling at that. So I want to get into this looking forward to watching like this. We saw a trailer not long ago on, on Captains. Yeah. On Babylon 5. And it was like it was like two or three different captains, and we were like <laughs> blown what? away. Yeah. I have no idea what the story is about. I know people in the comments, like, oh, why would you spoil it? Like, spoil. I don't remember what that what, what the heck I just saw. Uh, I saw awesomeness. Who did it? <coughs> what race did it? Who was involved? There was a race and it wasn't ours. <laughs> yeah. And it wasn't our ships. No. So, what do you think about this? How do you feel about getting into this? Uh, I'm glad that you chose me, which is our like sci fi, sci fantasy buff dude type guy to get into this with. So, I think this is definitely something I'm going to get really deep into. And I, I've seen a lot of things on Babylon 5 as well. Like, uh, I, I, I frequently follow. Um, the college humor guys i don't know if you watch them but they do they do they have this uh game show called i'm um, actually i'm um, actually sorry about that i got something in my throat there um and in i'm um, actually it's basically this trivia game where you're supposed to correct a statement on a card by using i'm um, actually like a nerd would actually do ah okay gotcha yeah gotcha, yeah, gotcha, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, and I mean. in that there was frequent wef frequent references to babylon 5 and I've always wondered, like, what the story is about, what it is. I don't even remember, like, the facts on the card. I just remember people raving about it. Yeah, and it taking, comes like, out. Babylon 5 comes out in so many conversations. Yeah. And I felt 
Y es que tú en los 90s, I felt like I missed out. Yes. So, in order to not feel like you're, you're falling out, we're going to get to this. Yes. Just like my daughter feels like she's missing out on One Piece, she's almost done watching One Piece. So it's Good luck. <laughs> Here we go, guys. This is episode one, Babylon 5, The Gathering. Let's get to it. One of my, one of my co-workers was like, he was all about Babylon 5. Really? Back in the 90s. At the dawn of the third age of mankind. Lando. Who's that? I know Lando. <laughs> it was a port of call for refugees, smugglers. This is definitely Sound like 90s. Deep Space Nine. Babylon 5 was a dream given form. A dream of a galaxy without war. And species from different worlds could live side by side in mutual respect. So the neutral zone type of area, okay. it seems like. The last of the Babylon stations. Why are they named Babylon, though? Is it like to reference the Mesopotamia and how they combined all these different tribes and things. probably because i think in babylon the country was like very yeah. a melting pot yes i couldn't put a face to that londo i, I have one of two i hope it's the guy with the really crazy hair <laughs> that'd be great <laughs> what a look that's not real hair <laughs> no the veil that was hair that looked like hair but made out of wood I wouldn't. You know the rules about crossing species. Stick with the list. Did the list? Obviously, you've never met an Arnassian before. After they finish, they eat their meat. Oh! That sounds like and an amazing... <laughs> Get out of there, homie. That sounds like an amazing assisted suicide <laughs> <laughs> way. Arnassian, though. Dust, alright. Okay, we do this quiet and by the numbers. Dust? Was it a drug? You mean like pearl dust, angel dust, like, maybe, yeah. Maybe. Like spikes? Yeah. I... Stop! Stop! Stay back! Stop. Stay back or I'll kill her! Is that a... What is that? <laughs> a shoe? What Dust dealer, small time giving away, trying to smuggle the stuff. Okay, dust is that a phaser of some sort? It looks that, yeah, it looks like a weapon. Fire. I'll talk to him, but get a backup team outside staff. I'm not gonna lie, Commander Sinclair looks like he belongs in the Sopranos. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I'm on arm. Put the gun down! This Commander Sinclair looks like a cool character. Yeah, it looks like he's used to negotiating with terrorists. There's only one way in or out of Babylon 5, back the way you came. You get past me, where do you go then? That's true. You're in space. Mm-hmm. Why should I trust you? Because I gave you my word. And because right now, five marksmen are taking up position outside. Take her out of here and they'll burn you right down to the ground. <laughs> Good choice. Where, where, Auntie, where were you gonna go? Nowhere. We've logged your ship's ID. If you ever come within 50 clicks of this station again, we'll blow you out of the sky. I'm sorry to let him go. So he's a man of honor, man yeah, of his word. Well, that's good. But he looks like he's good at negotiating, too. He was very commanding in his voice and showed that man an actual ultimatum and showed that, yeah. like, it's not worth it what he's thinking. And we're back to business. Yeah. Lieutenant Commander Takashima. Jesus. I understand that the supply ship sent by my government is not being allowed to dock. That's correct. This will, of course, be reported to the highest Jesus. authority. Fair enough. But as far as I'm concerned, they could sit out there for the next solar year. Oof. Oh, damn. I could send them a fruit basket. These people of Babylon 5 are no nonsense. Yeah. But it seems like it's a very big mil mil militaristic. Why is it called Babylon 5? Your question. Babylon's 1, 2, and 3 were sabotaged and destroyed. Hmm. Number four vanished without a trace 24 hours after becoming operation. To this day, no one knows what happened to it. Gotta be able to play in later on in the story. <laughs> at the last movie, it's gonna yeah, come at back. The last, the finale. <laughs> We've been out of contact with Ambassador Kosh ever since his ship left Borlon Space eight days ago. Based on his last known position, he should be here in about 48 hours. There's a lot of ambassadors. Yeah. Well, I think he just said that there's gonna be like a UN meeting of sorts. 
To date, no human has ever seen a Vorlon. So what the hell's a Vorlon? Their diplomatic office sent me just enough data for the environmental control and no more. Biomaintenance, you are still adjusting the atmosphere for his living quarters. All right, we'll play it by ear. This is dope! He seems like he's somebody that's really like, let me know what I'm getting into before I get into it. But also very welcoming. Yes. But in a way, still, Babylon 5 horrifies me that it's a militistic rule. <laughs> well, if you didn't know these planets and cultures, you probably need that. Definitely, no, definitely. These guys are probably at war, meeting in the same room. True. True, 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 true. What the hell? Is that a bug? Well, I mean, yeah, you're right. That Because that's what they said in the beginning, and Babylon's the last peacekeeping uh, battle station. Message, Commander. Ambassador to Len needs to see you. She says she's in the garden. On my way. That's a lie. The Babylon Garden disappeared years ago. <laughs> in Babylon 4. <laughs> this is huge. Up. Yeah, it is. Look at that guy. He looks like my great aunt. Oh, how dope. This is ginormous. That is really cool. It reminds me of the Matt Damon movie. Uh, it was like a ring. Elysium? That's the one, yeah. Elysium. In two days, Ambassador Kosh arrives. I look forward to meeting a Vorlon. This is the first time gonna, anyone's going to see a Vorlon. Do you not have files on the Vorlons? Absolutely. Very large files. There's nothing in them, of course. How much do you have? More than you, it would seem. <laughs> Naturally, it's all classified. Okay. Good game of diplomacy being played here. A little, mm -hmm. a little bit give of give and a... take. Here is a copy of everything I have. What? Just like that. Well, yeah, but now she, he, he's in... Say it fell from the sky. Okay. He's now... Oh, he owes her a favor, basically. That was a big... That was a good, smart play. Because she played it first that she has it, and she could do him a favor. But he's going to owe him. Or she could be planting a seed. Maybe. You know everything about your stone garden. Clearly, you have not spent nearly enough time looking at it. Yeah, she's, she's a very smart ambassador, because now he's indebted, and he feels indebted. And he probably got a bunch of information, a very important information, too. Yeah, because he doesn't know Vorlan, how to... The Vorlan, I'm sure I'm missing Zorlan. Yeah. Vorlan, but yeah, it seems like he's he's now, like, he really owes her a favor, and he's an honorable man, so he'll, he'll come clean on that favor. Confirm incoming ship. Is that a wormhole opener? That's dope. That is hyperspace. Nobody can tell me otherwise. That's hyperspace. <laughs> and that was unplanned. Whatever this is, is unplanned. Damn, Unless it's the Warlon. It's Warlon ship, all right. Oh. Ambassador Kosh, two days early. I was afraid he was going to pull something like this. About time. Sorry, I was delayed. Did he just shoot him? No, I think the door just closed. Oh. <laughs> Shot him. <laughs> That'd be like <laughs> insane. I'm glad you're back. When do you dock? One hour, 40 minutes. Just in time for the reception. Actually, I was thinking about something a little more intimate. On my way, I picked up some carnelian bed sheets. Ooh. Ooh. Frictionless. Oh! Wait, okay. if it's completely frictionless, wouldn't they just slide off the bed? <laughs> for how long? <laughs> just yeah, I would assume so. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Takashima. Takashima. This is Nar. Nar. Gakar, yeah. Who's a Nar? Uh, our captain will wait until after the ambassadorship has docked. Is that satisfactory? Yes. Yes, it is. Are you feeling all right, Ambassador? Couldn't be better. See you at the reception then. Good eating to you, Lieutenant Commander. He was pissed off a second ago. Yes! And now we need a nine. That's the guy we heard in the beginning. That's the voice we heard. Like this is that guy with the hair. Lando. 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 Yeah, Lando. Lando. Ambassador. Lando. Yep. I'm happy. Go away. I'll take two and roll for the batteries. Sounds like a very, like a very interesting character. Yeah. The point. The point of it. Well, he's shooting dice. That's for sure. The new ambassador arrived early. Commander wants to make sure you'll be in the welcoming party. 
Mr. Garibaldi, I'm a very busy man. So all these ambassadors want to meet this guy, this this Kosh Vorland character. Sir, house wins again. Uh, no. Ah, that brings a good question. How does how does religion fit in all of this? <laughs> I'm sure they're gonna to touch on that. I hope so. Garibaldi, my good close friend, Garibaldi! <laughs> No, you don't. Not again. Lend me your support, your good cheer. My wallet. Come on, Garibaldi. I know there's an adventurer lurking inside that steel shell, bursting to get out. <laughs> I like this guy. Our work will take them together, side by side. They keep showing this guy. Yeah. When my dear Republic moved in and conquered the entire beta system in nine days. Did I ever tell you that story? Several times. He's a good orator. Apparently a warrior. Yeah. Or at least his race seems to be a warrior race. I mean, nine days to take over a whole star system? Excuse me. I couldn't help overhearing this system of yours. It's a sure thing. He should have been a security list. His name earlier. Universe today. Like USA Today. Vorons to uh, make contact. Did you see that? What is it? Vorons to make contact. So it looks like this is a huge thing. This is huge. This is. I feel the 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 the, the scope of this just yeah. on this 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 station. Can you deliver by then? Absolutely, no problem. The twenty second. He's he's thinking he can't deliver any sooner than the twenty second. That's messed up. A psychic or something. Or... I would kill her <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the night. I'm gonna find the guy that thought up the idea of running telepaths to businessmen, and I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Lita Alexander. Yes? Ambassador Jakar of the Narn Regime. The Narn Regime. So it's a regime. You have people outside with weapons. They want to go be checked. True, true, true. We have no telepaths among my people. A genetic oversight, I suppose. One which you could help correct. <laughs> I am empowered to compensate you quite handsomely for your genetic background. Really? The process would be either a direct mating, you and I, <laughs> or the donation of vital cells from which we could clone a replicant. I'm sure that is highly, highly restricted and regulated. And we'd still have to fuse your genes with our own, and that would take even longer. Dude, this guy's mad creepy. Jeez. Would you prefer to be conscious or unconscious during the mating? <laughs> What on earth? Pleasure threshold is. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so, so uncomfortable. Uh, <laughs> no, I will assume though that that department has that highly regulated. Definitely, definitely. This is probably something that's not done in private meetings. Yeah, no. She'd probably lose her, her license. Or kill for that matter. Yeah. Also, I don't think I could surrender control over my ship to a uh, space station. I would say I'm going to land it personally. You're going to have to follow rules at some point. The Vorlon ship is on approach to Bay 9. On my way. That's a double ship. That is. This is definitely 90s graphics, though. Oh, for sure. It looks like it still hasn't been rendered. <laughs> But still, I mean, it looks like it, it's it the mock-up. impressive back in the 90s. Oh, though. no, definitely. This I can imagine being Even like, this. groundbreaking. But I like the practical effects. Oh. Momentary power loss. Rerouting to secondary power supply. Time delay factor 2.3 minutes. Please stand by. What the hell? So dope. I'm really enjoying this. I don't know how you are. I'm, I'm really enjoying it, but this guy looks creepy as hell. Yeah, what I, what I, are those orifices? I'm glad that they're like not, not everything's like human. Human. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Station alert. Notify security. Get the doors open. The assassination attempt, maybe. Well, that's not good. This is not good. 
First time, first time this ambassador shows up, and right away he's out. Worse than that, how are they going to treat him if they don't know anything about him? That's a good question. Well, they got that record now that the other ambassador gave him. Listen, they need to get a uh, exacto knife made out of kryptonite and start cutting in. But what got him? Is it the atmosphere that we just made for him, or they made for him? We just got a reply from the Vorlon High Command. They insist that the ambassador's encounter suit cannot be removed for security reasons. They just don't want us seeing what's inside. You mean they'd rather let him die than... I'm afraid so. Jesus. Ben, as a doctor, you're bound by a vow of confidentiality, and that's good enough for me. As for the rest, kill the monitor. Stop all data recording. I don't want any record of what goes on in there. Jeff! I take full responsibility. What a call. What would be worse, though, is if... What if it's like the Mandalorians? You can't take off your helmet, and it's a huge disrespect to them for... We don't know. But he's obviously dying. Must be away. Yes, we'll find out now. So. Another thing, Warlands definitely can't survive this atmosphere because we just heard that they need CO2 well, well, look at what and they high density what carbon. Is this? But look at what they were using for debris. Maybe they, they'd fill this whole room up with that. If he goes into that white light, he's going to go stone. Go blind? You still don't know what happened. Not yet, Senator. Dr. Kyle's been able to stabilize the ambassadors. Oh, so there is senators. Okay. This turns out to be anything other than natural illness, or if anyone did anything to him, this could escalate fast. What was his name again? The the guy he's talking to? The Vorlon. Kosh. Ambassador Gosh, yeah. Kosh. I'm naming him Archduke Fernadad. <laughs> Thank you. Could be. You might be right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I need you to find out where everyone was during the five-minute period between the time the ambassador docked and we found him. So it was an assassination attempt. I, it looks like. And check the transport tube. It malfunctioned and kept me from getting to Bay 9 until it was too late. No, that, that, that was done on purpose. What if it was the Varner guy that uh, ambassador... Um, uh, the guy who was at the, at, the, at the table? Yeah. A lot of names to remember. A lot of names oh, to write down. In the first episode. Yeah. But we'll get the hang of it. Yeah. I mean, if we can do Game of Thrones. Confirmed presence of foreign compound type unknown. Mmm. Oh, he's dying. He's dying. It was poison then. Jeff, it looks like poison. He was poison. She's not. He's a foreign compound. But so far, I still don't know how the poison got into his system. Through the air, maybe, no? Life signs are dropping 5% every hour. Oof. If we can't find out what happened, the ambassador will be dead in less than 24 hours. That's not good. As of now, no one enters or leaves Babylon 5. Wow. He's shutting it down. Can you imagine what we could achieve together? I can. Ooh, I like her. Mm -hmm. Your perceptions are colored by your history with the Centauri. As former slaves of that government. Oh. oh. We were never slaves. Our world was invaded. Our people... The word was ill-chosen. Okay. She so, is sharp. Ah! I should have known better than to waste my time. He's You're even prideful. worse than the Centauri. They're beyond the dream of conquest. But you, you had the Earth Alliance on its knees. Oh. They almost killed the, the, the Earth. But you surrendered. We had our reasons. What? So they were at war with Earth and they surrendered? Mm-hmm. Weak, frightened old fools with no vision or the will to fight, but we... <gasps> Did she use the Force? If they are that technologically advanced... ...are being held by a force of two gravities, you will swear, here and now, that you will never again mention the Great Council in my presence. Six, brush your ribs to jelly and explode your heart. Jesus. Four, gravities. Five. Oh, she is. She is taking him out. What was her species again? Deline? I missed it. I'm I sure we'll get back to it. Yeah. Oh, the so there's five federations? Yeah. I gave you a chance for greatness and you threw it away. Let it be on your own head. 
dude, stop with the threats. You obviously are outmatched. Okay, so they want revenge, I guess, against the 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 the, the guy who was running dice people. What the hell is that? Yeah, the Centauri. They were enslaved. Yes. So he says. So this is a powder cake that's about to go off, probably. Yes. 